we, I need some coffee. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do, a. Hey, that's all we do, a, 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 a. I'm coming to you with another feed, yo, a. Hey, come, wait, no, no, no. I'm coming to you with another feed, yo, a. Hey, coming to you with another feed, yo, picky, picky. It is 7.30. Now just imagine the prepping that I had to do before I do this video, all right? So, um, before we get any further in this video, I want to invite you to join the Fam Bam. And those that have joined the Fam Bam, welcome. Come on in. You're welcome here. Virtual hug. Mm -mm. You know when your granny used to do that? Mm -mm. And mm -mm. like that, okay? So that's a welcome. Threw on some lashes, did my low maintenance brows. All I did on the brows is um, pop on my Makeup Forever brow pencil, which I don't even know where it is now, but hey, time is far spent. But the whole thing about this video is, or the whole reason behind the video is a foundation. Mm, mm, I'm excited. Y'all know I love foundation. But I was up late last night and I have a trip this weekend. So I've been kind of preparing and staying up late and running and doing some stuff like that. So I'm definitely using a corrector. Disclaimer, heads up, just know it's going down. Plus, I really love doing videos with corrector anyway, because that's how I really get down. Now, this is called Born to Glow. It is by NYX. Some of you guys say NYX. I just say NYX. Been saying NYX for years. And so it's NYX Born to Glow. And you know what I forgot to do? Oh, where are you? Okay, because I was about to say, I forgot to grab this primer. I have definitely been using this Veil Mineral Primer with Hydrating Foundation. Now, is this hydrating? I don't know, but it is called Born to Glow. Did y'all catch them bars? By it saying glow or dewy or luminous, that totally makes me think that uh, we're hydrating, okay? And I don't really do hydrating foundation, but I'm doing it for y'all. I'm doing it for the tube, okay? Um, and hopefully all is well because I have a full day today. So hopefully I don't have to do a whole lot of blotting. I don't know, but let's see what it says. I am on Ulta.com. That is where I got it from, but I walked in the store. I didn't get it online. Um, it is called Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. It is $10, but it says um, that you can find your perfect NYX professional makeup. I guess you can click the link and they'll help you find the shade, but we're not about to do that right now, girl. It says only at Ulta. What's well, a good thing I went to Ulta? It says we can't even. No, we period can't period even period. Okay, the NYX Professional Makeup Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation is so glorious. Like, not glorious, but glorious. Available in an exclusive range of 45 truly flattering shades. Our covetable, okay, you using strong words, girl. Our covetable formula uh, delivers buildable medium coverage and a naturally radiant finish that lasts this natural glow this is long Ooh. this natural glow foundation tube is the key to creating a truly radiant look whether you're looking for foundation for a dry skin or foundation for oily i got combination girl Ooh, now i'm intrigued featuring a vegan formula with no animal derived ingredients or byproducts. All NYX professional makeup products are proudly cruelty free. The best foundation for a dewy glow. I don't really like a dewy glow, but we gonna see. It says use illuminating primer. I don't know what they are trying to do to me telling me to use an illuminating primer and to use this dewy situation. Not gonna happen. Not on my watch, <laughs> but maybe somebody that's dry. I don't know, but I'm not doing it. I don't even have it anyway. So we're just gonna go with my veil primer. Let's do this makeup forever number. I think it's 51. Truth be told, I do corrector whenever I do foundation. And because I have something to do, we're gonna do this foundation like as if I'm going somewhere. The color that I got in this foundation, which I failed to mention, is Sienna. And I believe that is the color that I have in my can't stop, I won't stop, a boom, boom, boom. 
I think it's the same shade. Yep, it's Sienna. And Sienna, it wasn't like an exact match, but it, after swatching for a long time in the store when that first came out, Sienna was the one that matched me best. Now these days, I don't do a whole lot of mixing. Can I mix my exact? Yes, but I be trying to like just find something that I can just pop on and go. Point to glow, naturally radiant. I love that it's in a tube. How much do you get? You get one ounce. That baby is like short, right? To say you get a full ounce? Okay. Oh, good job, Nix. You got the little protector on there. So no one can tamper with your stuff. Okay. Ooh, a lot comes out. I like that. And you know I'm going to use a sponge. So this is what this is looking like. Um, say a quick prayer for me because I totally have on a um, white shirt. But this is Sienna. We're just gonna go on with her. Ooh, Sienna looking dark. Girls, this Sienna looking a little dark. I don't know if it's the same as that other foundation. Maybe I should pump some on my hand and see. Did, like, so if you guys have the um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, let's see if you're the same shade in this new one. The Can't Stop, Won't Stop looks like it is a little bit lighter and that they are both Sienna. So I was right when I put that on and was like, whoa. Ooh, 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 it looks like it's oxidizing. Not bad, but look at, this is my skin right here. And then look at the foundation. It's a little bit darker than, than I am, but I think we'll be okay. Maybe not necessarily matte, but it's adhering to the skin really good. This is, mm, mm. the um, other NYX is definitely more of my shade. This has more of a, this is not necessarily an undertone difference. I think it's a shade difference. I think it has like a deeper shade. So I probably can go one up. So for those of you guys that have not tried this yet, if you have, drop it in the comments and let me know what you think. But for those of you that haven't, maybe go a shade up from what you are in the can't stop, won't stop. Okay, so I wasn't gonna use like my highlighting, highlighting concealer. But because this is deeper than my skin, I'm going to do, use my lightest concealer. Okay, so they said buildable, and y'all know I like to test it out. I'm your girl to test out buildable because I builds. I builds, baby. I am going to do this concealer to kind of lighten it up, and I believe number 12 is lighter than 11. So I'm just going to do it per the use to kind of blend this out, you know, make my shade kind of match me more. Does it blend smooth and even and all that? Yes. Is it medium to buildable? Yes. I feel like you can build it up. If I wanted to take another layer on there, I could. I'm gonna have to, you know, I'll definitely take care of that. You, it won't, you won't even know, like by the time I'm all done. I am going to use my Becca Tiger Lily. This will serve as a highlighter and a blush. Um, and I'm just picking orange to kind of brighten up my skin. This is the time where my excessive um, concealer <laughs> comes in handy. So that, see, that kind of made, it's, it's, it's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. I get so excited when I do makeup. Set that and hopefully she stays because I have not been drinking a lot of water like I should or getting a lot of rest like I should. I've been loving this CoverGirl Spectrum Powder. As you can see, I have hit pan. This is in um, tan <laughs> bars, tan golden. And so let's just put her on and put her on. And so now let me just take that tiger lily like I told you guys I was going to do, which is this um, Becca blush. It kind of gives me a highlight and it gives me a blush feel. And I'm just going to put it all over like this. And that's literally going to be all I do today. No contour, no special highlight. I think these do a great job when you just need like a one and done type situation. See? All right. So. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how that works out. So I'll be back. I'll see you guys throughout this the This is the foundation up close outside. The lighting out here is really interesting. Like I don't have no sun. So it's looking interesting. Coming in the bathroom to hook y'all. Ooh, it is. Cause I didn't bring my watch today. What time is it girl? It is, no it's not, no. It's 1027, y'all not gonna be able to see that. But it's 1027 and the things I do for my YouTube fam, she back eight. I'm on my break in the restroom and actually I took a break just for y'all. But let me tell you something. These so-called uh, glowy, dewy, hydrating foundations got me shooketh. <laughs> no, for real, this is not, 
I would not, like honestly, if I were to market this foundation, as of right now, I've had it on for like three hours, I would not market it as dewy. Oh, there we go. Let me tell you something. When I find a foundation that is doing something, I get really excited because all of us can have multiple foundations that are reasonably priced and we don't always have to go to high end if we don't want to. So I am like literally surprised at this foundation. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, right there. Like I have not blotted all day. It is, oh, I don't even know. Well, I got off at four. So it's definitely 4 p.m. We put this on at seven, okay? And this is gonna be until later tonight. Um, I'll probably blot that nose because I am gonna be live. So listen, I was gonna get on my other camera and show you guys all the goodness and all that, but um, it's 11 o'clock. I just finished um, some orders and some shipping and now I have to pack because I'm going out of town this weekend. So listen, but I must say, let me explain, let me explain. I think that this foundation is great. It does start to break down like when you get oily. However, if you know that you're gonna be like out in the sun and you know like, you know, you have um, a job that requires uh, strenuous duties um, and it, re you know, you kind of get a little hot and maybe start to glisten, I don't think that this is the, the best foundation, but um, I have to say that I was under my ring light for a couple of hours and I was like getting stuff ready to ship. So I was like doing some work and I did get a little heated. So that is probably some oils mixed with a little bit of perspiration. Okay. So we are going to blot. It is a pretty good foundation, but let's see what it does. I mean, it looked like I was cooking a chicken girl. Oh, and I'm hot. I just, I just want to take it off. Like it's at the end of the day. I have so much to do still before the night is out. And I'm like, lashes come off. Makeup come off. It's been on all day. It is, um, like I said, 11.05 PM. And we started this video at seven, baby. And your girl's tired. I'm not mad. But anyway, you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you, hold on, sooner than you think <laughs> and so um catch me on the next video make sure that you join the fam bam and let me know what you want to see next what foundation what concealer what palette what kind of video you want to see girl let me know all right talk to you later bye confidence is key you know what i mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty yeah.